It was a simple question that Mary Grace Henry asked her teachers. Why can't girls in Africa go to school like I can? While the real answer is complex, the simple answer she got was, their families cannot afford it. So, Mary Grace, then just 12, decided that she wanted to pay for the education of a girl. But how to get the money? That's when her determination and creativity kicked in. She had a reversible headband for her hair and it fell apart. I can do better than that, she thought, and told her parents she was going to make headbands and sell them to make money for the girls in Africa. One problem, she didn't know how to sew. So she badgered her parents for a sewing machine. After three requests, they gave in and bought her one, and she set about learning how to use it. Shortly, she had created about 15 reversible headbands and took them to the school bookstore to be sold. Two days later, the bookstore called and asked for more headbands. They had sold out. So, at the tender age of 12, Mary Grace created a vertical company. She sourced the materials, made the headbands in her basement, set up distribution and used the profits to send girls to school in Kenya, Uganda, Paraguay and Haiti. Now 17, she has fully paid for the education of over 40 girls, all with a good dose of determination and capitalism at its best. Mary Grace has surely reversed the course for these girls, and soon, with the funds she receives here tonight, dozens more. They owe their future to her, and we owe our gratitude and admiration to Mary Grace Henry.